If you give a little more than you take And if you try to fix more than you break Brent, first, thank you so much for speaking with me and making time for me. And congratulations on the new single. But before we start talking about that, I have to ask you right off the top two very important questions. One, how are you doing during this new climate that's been going on with uh, COVID-19? How have you been handling that? And what are your thoughts right now on race relations being up in front on the news, on social media, just out there? Give me your thoughts on both, please. Well, first of all, um, what's going on in, in the world and what I've been doing with myself is learning about the stock market a little bit, you know, trying to do some things from home. Um, and as well, just wanting to become a better person overall, you know, as you know, we we have this time for the past three months. And as a musician, a producer and songwriter, I'm looking into myself and wonder how can I make myself better? How can I grow? How can I become a better producer, songwriter? Uh, hence that, you know, my relationship with uh, Johnny Reed, um, which is an amazing songwriter, amazing songwriter. And you have the duo in life that is like a model where, you know, when Quincy Jones and Michael Jackson met each other, there it was just magic. And it's the same thing that happened with me and Johnny Reed. Like, this man writes for my heart and writes as I see myself, the words that I see myself singing to the world and what my mission is to, to, to just to heal the world through my music and the message that I want to say, but it has to be written in a special way. So it, I've really just taken a, a, a chance and, and a swing um, with my friend here that, that I've met almost for, for a year now at a hockey game in Nashville, Tennessee. And just we just became, you know, just he told me about his studio in Nashville. And then I all of a sudden, you know, I, he told me that there was a microphone that Johnny Cash was singing on. So I wanted to become I went by the studio and I wanted to become a better songwriter. So he just came into my life at the right time with the right energy, with the right spirit. And, it, and we just we just went to the stars and. Hence, coming out of that, you know, we just started writing some songs together, and this was one of the first songs that, that, that came out, which is called People Like You. So that's one of the biggest things that I've been doing during this time is learning the stock market and trying to become a better father, a better husband, a, a, a better brother, a, bre a better son, just, you know, looking within myself, looking deeper. And then for your second question, um, as far as the, the state of the world, I think we all look, need to be reflecting. And one of the biggest things I see, um, you know, is I, I saw something on Amazon the other day, and they said that their, their books on black history are all yes. sold out, Rudy. Can you imagine? Yes. And, and this goes to show, uh, even some of my, my white friends are like, you know, what can I do to help? And, you know, and I said, you really can't do nothing to help. And, and then they said, well, I, I've been buying books. And then I realized that, hey, there's a lot of people that, a lot of white people that don't know about black history. And it's not something that's mandatory, that is demanded, like, hey, you got to have your driver's license or you got to register your car in order to drive it. That's not a, a command to anyone in the world. So what I see is that there's a lot of white people that just don't know what black people have gone through. And then you have this underlying sense of racism, that, but that's the behavior of mankind because you have black people that are racist, you have Asian people that are racist, and you have white people that are racist. Keto. So I think as, a, as, a, as a, um, you, a, a race, the human race, we all need to fix up ourselves. You know what I mean? But what the, the, some of the hypocrisy that I see is that, you know, okay, a, a, a white police officer or a black, whatever the officer is, right? But in this case, with George Floyd, that's sending the world in an uproar, there's black people dying every day. But it's the way that this black man died. But it's something that we as the black community have to look within ourselves, that we need to know when a black man kills a black man, we should take the same stance at the same time. Mm -hmm. However, there is a certain situation when a white man goes into a bank for a loan and a black man goes into the bank for a loan, and the white man gets it first, just based on this. And these are things that are now being exposed 
that I don't even think black people knew about. So I think it is a, it's a great uh, platform now where people are open, where black, white people now are looking into black history and seeing, you know, the under, the under railroad, underground railroad and learning all these things that black people have gone through. And it's the same way that um, I believe the, the Jews have, you know, made a, a, a conscious effort to say, hey, this is what we went through in the Holocaust. They make sure that is known. You know what I mean? And I do believe that black people need to start making that effort, that conscious effort to say, hey, this is what we went through and share with the world. You know, I look to people like BET that is called Black Entertainment Television. Instead of having a bunch of girls shaking their booty and, and, and blowing bubble gum, they need to make a conscious effort to say, hey, this is so we can share what we've been through. We can share with young black kids. This is what we went through. So you can have an understanding of what we went through. Because when a young Jewish kid understands the stress that his great grandparents went through to get to the United States or to get to Canada or to get to Europe, they understand their purpose more on why we have to be successful, why we have to respect each other and love each other. And those are the little elements I think that needs to be fixed. Absolutely true on everything that you said. You mentioned about the new single and working with Johnny Reed. Johnny Reed, I've known for many, many years. What do you think? Wow. What do you think the um, the magic is with the both of you? Because I know Johnny. Johnny has written and worked with a lot of other people too. And to me, he's just one of those easygoing people that yeah. you can just mesh with so easily. What do you think the magic was with the two of you working together? And then I want to get to the single and what, what, what is, it is about, because especially is relevant right now. Yeah, I think with the relationship with me and Johnny Reed, it's just there's a sense of purity and simplicity that we both have that. And I tell you, brother, Rudy, this is rare that you find people that are just simple. You have people that like to complicate things. And it's just that me and Johnny were the universe brought us together that I'm a simple man, easygoing and pure, and Johnny is the exact same way. So when we found each other, we were like, hey, brother. And he was like, hey, brother. He said, where you been, brother? It was that kind of chemistry that we was like, oh, my God, somebody else like me exists and want the same things out of life and want to have success. But the, the way of going about it, we don't want to step on people. We don't want to make things complicated and i think that is the, the secret to our success and we just got together and I, I i it's not no grand secret rudy you know it's just this simplistic kind of you humble pie eating kind of vibe with me and johnny reed and it just it, i think it's going to change the world i think we are going to be a light to the world if you look at the jamaican flag and you look at the the, the flag of scotland they are they're the same pattern but different colors <laughs> even something as simple as that when we looked at it and we're like bro our flags are the same and you know we've just been having so much joy in enjoying each other's family his kids my kids and uh, i think we, our relationship is going to be even a light to the world through all of this you know god put us together and that we can shine a light to the world that a man from jamaica and a scottish man from from canada come together and write um, some amazing music together. As you mentioned, there is an amazing song. You've already mentioned the name of it, but I'm going to ask you again, what's the name of the song and what is it about, please? The name of the song is called People Like You, and the song was originally written by uh, Johnny Reed, and it's because of the things that happened in Nova Scotia with the, the, the shooting. And we were in the studio one day while just writing, writing, writing. And when the song came out, Johnny came for the idea. And I was like, this would be brilliant. You know, I said to him that, um, how great would it be to, to sing this song? And he said, yes, you should put your voice on it. At the time, my uncle passed away from the coronavirus. And I was just a little down and, you know. And then a producer friend of mine that I've been working with for the past 20 years, Bobby Digital, a producer from out of Jamaica, he passed away. So I was just going through it. And it's a song where I, when you listen to the words, it identifies with the time. And it's actually timeless. But you have some songs that fit every decade. You know what I mean? Because it's a universal song. But it, you can really feel the essence of 
appreciating someone in your life, the essence of, you know, the people that are able to make us have toilet paper and, 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 and food and get our mail every day. Those people need to know that we appreciate them. And that is, this song really helps to, 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 to bring that across. And people that have lost someone in their lives, it's able to say, okay, here, I understand what you're going through. Or, or here, I thank you for what you've done for me throughout my life when I was growing up as a kid and you were there for me to teach me the way. It's a song of appreciation and dedication, brother. And when you get there, there's a hand to hold. I believe when your days down here are through, there's a place up there for people like you. Is there an EP or album going to follow with this? We're, we're, we're putting together an EP. We, we were talking about it, and I'm like, we write so fast together. We can do like two songs a day. That's how fast. So I'm like, okay, we have the time. Let's put out an EP. And the people are just gravitating towards it. So we're going to put out an EP. We're looking at around August, September, the latest, just to say a gift from me as a man, as a father, as a son, to make every young man around the world look within themselves and dig deeper within themselves to become a better person. So the EP we're looking to probably put around seven or eight tracks maximum and just give it as a gift to the world. Any chance for any live streaming performances while we're on lockdown right now and not a lot of uh, venues are going to be allowed to have those live performances? Well, Rudy, that's a great question. Um, we, we, we were talking about it, doing something at Soul Train Studios in Nashville and broadcast something to, to the world because people have been asking us. We had a, a whole tour booked. My whole summer was booked. I mean, you know what happened with that. Mm -hmm. So we're really looking to find the right platform so people won't have to watch and, you know, the, the streaming is buffering and, you know, I'm disappearing in the middle of the show and people don't get their money's worth. We really want to uh, allow a lot of these platforms to prove themselves to pick the right one. So we're looking at that as well to do an online concert. I agree. And that's one of the reasons why I do my interviews over the phone and not uh, over the Zooms and all those other platforms because I'm just finding it's tough to hold on to that kind of stuff, you know, in and out, in and out, in and out. And I think it's more respectful for me to do it this way because I want to make sure I get all the information from you because this has just been such a joy to have a chance to speak with you. Before we go, though, I have to ask, where do you have your Grammy? Oh, it's actually in my bedroom. <laughs> it was it was on the mantle. It was on my fireplace mantle, and but my son kept on going up there. My little four year old son. And I'm like, it would be crazy if I worked so many years for this trophy, <laughs> and then you knock it off by mistake. What am I gonna do, Rudy? I'm gonna say, yay, yeah, you ruined it. So I just moved it and put it in my bedroom. So that's where it is now. Well, what a way to wake up every morning to see that. I love that. Look, uh, social media, where do we go to follow you to find out everything that's happening with the EP, uh, live performances, everything? Where do we go? Well, just go for, for now. You can go to uh, GrampsMorgan.com or GrampsMorganMusic.com. But it's easy. Just type in Gramps Morgan and go to GrampsMorgan.com. I'm on Twitter at Gramps Morgan. I'm on uh, Instagram at Gramps Morgan and Facebook. Gramps Morgan Music. And I'm on Snapchat as well. I need to snap some more. It's Gramps Morgan 7. Gramps, thank you so much for doing this interview. Congratulations on your success. Give Johnny Reed a big hug for me and tell him Rudy Blair says hello and misses him too, please. And uh, I like will. I said, such an honor to have a chance to speak with you and thank you for everything that you've done during this time. But thank you for giving us great music over the years. Thank you so much, Rudy. You're amazing. And I will give Johnny a big, big bear hug in an hour. Thank you so much, my friend. You take care and talk to him. All right. Much love. Bye-bye. Because there's a place up there for people like